hi my loves welcome back to the stars cartel channel if you don't know i am star and today i'm here with a dream okay loki i forgot to uh type my dream in so i'm gonna have to go off of memory in this dream um me and my husband were i don't i think we were like in a place like we were either in a family home or apartment complex. Um, wherever we were, it just felt like it was home, but it didn't look like the house we live in. And um, while we were there, my husband was planning on going somewhere, but he told me that he would be leaving me with a friend of his, and I was not happy about it. I had a fit. Um, I ended up getting very upset with him after he left and leaving myself, okay? The scripture comes from Amos 3 and 8. The lion has roared, who will not fear? The sovereign Lord has spoken, who can but prophesy? Proclaim to the fortress of Ashdod and to the fortress of Egypt. Assemble yourselves on the mountains of Samaria. See the great unrest within her and the oppression among her people. They do not know how to do right, declares the Lord, who store up in their fortresses what they have plundered and looted. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says, an enemy will overrun your land, pull down your strongholds, and plunder your fortresses. This is what the Lord says, as a shepherd rescues from the lion's mouth only two leg bones or a piece of an ear, so will the Israelites living in Samaria be rescued with only the head of a bed and a piece of fabric from a couch. Hear this and testify against the descendants of Jacob, declares the Lord, the God, the Lord God Almighty. On the day I punish Israel for her sins, I will destroy the altars of Bethel. The horns of the altar will be cut off and fall to the ground. I will tear down the winter house along with the summer house. The houses adorned with ivory will be destroyed and the mansions will be demolished, declares the Lord. So um, this is the message. God is saying that um, for somebody, like, I feel like um, God is saying, don't put all of your eggs in a basket of being dependent upon man. This does not mean that... Um, you know, in this scenario that um, whomever I was being left with or whomever was being asked to watch me is a bad person. It's not saying that um, they don't mean well, but I just feel like God is saying um, to trust, put more trust in God than you do with man. Okay. Um, I also feel like God is saying that when it comes to whom you trust and who you put your faith in, it will always, like God will always overpower anything else that you put your trust in, anything else you put your faith in. And I just feel like in this dream, I was frustrated because I just kept feeling like, you know, I, I just kept feeling like my husband was asking someone else to do things that he was supposed to do. I felt as though where he was going, it was no problem for me to go as well. And I also felt as though um, if it was that serious that he could have stayed home. And it was very frustrating for me because um, just me personally, I am very apprehensive when it comes to men because of my past and different things that I've been through in my past. I've ever already talked to y'all about how I was um, touched as a little girl and as an adult. And because of that, me, myself, I feel very nervous around men. I don't, um, I just didn't like it. And, you know, I just kind of felt like, you know, in that dream, I felt like my husband wasn't just leaving me for a couple hours. It wasn't going to be just like a short period of time. It felt like he was trying to give me away to somebody. And I don't know if this is like the situation for somebody that they feel like someone, regardless, this may have not been this person's husband, but maybe they feel like this was their husband. Maybe they feel like this was their person and this person has um, 
decided that they are not interested in being with them anymore and now they are trying to pass them along to a friend or they're trying to give them away to somebody else um in a means of like it's almost like they mean they mean you well their heart is in a sense in the right place but for whomever this is for you are not happy with this you feel like you don't want to be with their friend. You weren't interested in being with their friend. You wanted to be with your person. You wanted to be with your spouse. And in your mind, it's kind of hurtful that your spouse is um, kind of like pushing you to the side and giving you away. Okay. Um, and you know, this, this does sound like, like a really sad situation. And that's what I feel like it was a breakup. Like for somebody, it was a breakup. You did not want to break up. You did not want the relationships in. Not only did the relationship in, but now this person has decided to give you away to somebody else. Now this person has decided to put you off on their friend and you kind of feel very hurt very disrespected and i also feel like um in this situation you have decided that you don't want to deal with the friend you don't want to deal with your ex you have decided to go off on your own path now god is saying to put your faith in god okay put your faith in the lord you know um in this situation, I feel like whomever this is for, you are entitled to feel the way that you feel. You are entitled to your feelings and you are entitled to, you know, your emotions. Um, me personally, I have never had any interest with being with one of my ex's friends. Um, and I'm pretty sure, like, I really feel like that's what it is for whomever this is for. You feel like you don't want to be with your ex's friend. And it may even, like, to go even deeper, it may also be a situation where you, you're not interested in being with your ex's friend. And you're also not interested in your ex hooking you up with someone. Um, in reality, after a breakup... Me personally, I like to take time to be alone. Like, um, you have to allow yourself to heal from your last relationship before you jump into a new relationship. So I don't know if um, maybe this is a situation where this person found somebody else while they were in a relationship with you. And because of that, they're feeling guilty and they're trying to give you somebody. And, you know, it's nothing wrong with them trying to give you somebody or them wanting to see you with somebody and them not wanting to see you alone. But I just feel like whomever this is for, you feel like it's unfair that not only did they hurt you by ending up with someone else. Um, maybe the person they ended up with is their person, which could possibly, you know, that could add on to the hurt. And then on top of that, not only have they moved on with this person, now they are turning around and trying to tell you who you should be with. And, you know, God is just saying that he does not want to see you feeling oppressed. And I feel like the oppression comes from... <laughs> like it's almost like your ex is still trying to control you and that's how I felt in the dream I felt like I was being controlled it was like why are you trying to tell somebody to watch me why are you trying I don't need a babysitter okay um like I, I just that's how I felt I felt very combative I just felt like I wasn't in any danger in the dream and it was nothing um I was absolutely confused as to why I wasn't going with him and once he said I wasn't going with him, I was confused as to why I was being told to stay there or to go over here and be over there. And it was just kind of like, wait, if you don't want me to come with you, why are you trying to tell me where I need to go? Why can't I just be free to go and do what I want to do? I don't need you to tell me where I'm going. I don't need you to tell me what to do. I don't need you to be in control of me. And for someone, it is making you feel very controlled and it's making you feel very oppressed. God said that, um, 
God says that this person is going to receive um, judgment for doing this because it's unfair to you. It's like, you know, it's one thing that everything happened the way that it happened. You know, it is what it is, but it's not fair that this person has now turned around and tried to push you on to their friends or they're trying to give you away to somebody else. Um, I feel like this is just adding on to your hurt and God is recognizing that. Like that's literally what this prophecy is. It is God allowing you to understand that he does recognize what's going on. He sees that you were already hurt in the first place. And then this added extra hurt and frustration. And I just feel like God is saying that he will protect you as you go on and go about your separate ways. He will protect you as you go on by yourself. You do not need anyone to like, you know, um, kind of like, uh, like I hear take care of you. Like for someone, it's like, um, someone has made you believe that you need someone to take care of you. Someone has made you believe that you need someone watching over you. Like you need a babysitter and God is saying, no, you know, your heavenly father does not sleep or slumber he doesn't miss anything so there's no need for him to find someone to watch over his child he doesn't need a babysitter for his children because he already knows he already sees and he's already protecting and guiding you um the next scripture that's pointing out to me that's uh standing out to me is they do not know how to do right declares the lord who store up in their fortresses what they have plundered and looted and um with this scripture god is saying that it's almost like this person's way of um kind of putting you to the side like they are in a state where they are not sure if this maybe they have started a new relationship and they are not sure if that relationship is going to work out and because they are not sure if that relationship is going to work out they have now um they are deciding that they are not sure what to do with you like they don't want you to be free to go out and do what you want to do because they're thinking okay if this doesn't work out then i'll be able to come back here and that is why like i just feel like for somebody that is why they're trying to store you away that's why they're trying to keep you to the side they feel like you are a prize you were something that they saw value in I like and I also hear God saying obviously you know and this is not to make you feel like okay maybe I should wait for them because obviously um if they decided to go and be with someone else um they didn't see you as that much like they you may have been valuable to them but there was something that th that was missing and um one thing one thing that I um, know of, if I am in a situation where someone has to choose between me and someone else, I would prefer for them to choose the other person. Because if they really wanted to be with me, they would never have to make an, make a choice in the first. It would never be a decision, you know. Um, when somebody wants you, they want you. It's no question about it. Um, if it comes to you and 15 other people, they are going to choose you every time. It's going to be like they're not going to have to sit back and think and wonder, well, maybe let me see. I don't know. I got to figure it out. Like it's not going to be they are going to say, no, nah, I want you. I want you They Like I just feel like. Like this person is. um this person is basically trying to hide someone away. I hear it for a rainy day. Like, they're trying to have someone put on hold. Like, just in case them and their person get in an argument so that they can call you and they can, you know, get that attention that they want. Or just in case um, they break, them and their person break up so that they can get back with you so that they won't be alone. But, you know, in reality, it's unfair to you. It's unfair to you because it is not fair for you to sit around and have to wait on somebody. And, you know, I'm sorry to whoever this message is for. I feel like it is a very, um, 
messed up situation it's not fair for anybody to be treated that way and god is saying that you know you are worth more than that you should not um you shouldn't be treated this way and you shouldn't be feeling as though your feelings are hurt because you can't understand why this person has decided to do this to you you know um in reality i just feel like god is saying that the best bet is to move on not to um sit and ponder on this for too long you know um you need to take out some time to be alone and heal from this relationship and you need to be able to freely when you are ready to start dating again if you decide to start dating again then that needs to be a decision that you have made okay and that is the message thank you guys for watching be sure to like share and subscribe hold on Okay, God is calling me to this part. As a shepherd rescues from the lion's mouth, only two leg bones or a piece of veneer. So will the Israelites living in Samaria be rescued with only the head of a bed and a piece of fabric from the couch. God is saying that you will end up out of this situation. Not only will you end up out of this situation, it's not going to be where you're going to feel as though you lost everything. And, you know, um, even though this is something small, okay, this is only the head of a bed and a piece of fabric from the couch. So it's kind of like you're only getting a piece of something, um, regardless to if this piece is just your dignity and your strength. Or if this piece is just your um, confidence in yourself or this piece. And, you know, um, it may take you simply saying, no, I don't want this. No, I don't need this. No, this is not going to, I'm not going to allow you to do this to me. That will help you build that confidence back. That will help you build back um, confidence in yourself. And you deserve that, okay? God is saying it's not fair for you that your ex is trying to do this to you. And it is my, like, my deepest um, condolences and apologies to whoever this is for. Because this is very um, mean. This is not, like, I would be so hurt. Like, you know, and I just remember how I felt in my dream. I was very hurt by... um that situation and i couldn't understand why um this was happening i was very confused i even feel like this is a situation where this relationship came to an abrupt end out of nowhere because it was out of nowhere that he was leaving it was out of nowhere i was being pushed somewhere else and you know um yeah that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much to everybody that donated to me. I love you guys to bits and pieces. Y'all don't even understand. Like, y'all made me cry, okay? I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.